Now I've been a pro mountain biker for around 20 years. I've spent a few of them on e-bikes as well. So I've learned a few tips and tricks along the way. So today I'm gonna to show you a few secret EMTB tricks to help you guys out on the trails. So you might actually be struggling to bunny hop your e-mountain bike with the weight of that battery and the motor download, it is quite a struggle. So when we're coming to sections of trail like this, if I was just simply gonna try and bunny hop these rocks, I'd probably be landing right in the middle and I'll probably land quite heavy. Now this is where you need to get clever and actually use mother nature to your advantage. Now what I can see on this first rock is a nice kicker. So I'm actually gonna push my bike into this, then do the bunny hop maneuver. Then it's gonna accentuate that move by probably three or four times fold and accentuate my hop will probably clear this whole rock garden. Therefore, I don't have to rattle around over these rocks, potentially losing grip or getting a puncher, things like that. It's a really great way of avoiding those bigger trail obstacles. As you enter the desired takeoff area, focus on your kicker. Now is the time to compress into the bike suspension and load it all up. As the front wheel pings off the kicker, release all your energy into an upwards movement and get your weight into the center of the bike while scooping up the rear with your feet. Whilst you're in the air, look at your landing zone. Pay attention to any objects that you might land on. Just try and land rear wheel first. That way it's gonna be nice and smooth. Now on a traditional mountain bike, you'll be attempting sections like this with a seat raise to enable you to get max leg power through the cranks. But on an e-mountain bike, however, you can drop the seat because all you need is cadence. You've got that big powerful motor down there providing all the assistance, not your legs. So as long as the cadence is there, you're gonna get exactly the same power as you were as you sit up or to have the seat down low. The great thing about climbing on an e-mountain bike with the seat down low is that it lowers your center of gravity. If you attempt something like this with the seat up, it's like a big lever ready to flip you out the back door. So you get the seat down low, that way it lowers the center of gravity and improves your grip. You've got a good cadence there. And it allows you to move fore and aft on the bike to control that front wheel lift and the grip to the rear wheel. The approach to the climb is key. Drop the seat, engage the power mode you need and the gear to suit the climb. Focus on your desired line and feel how the bike is reacting to the climb as you go up it. If the front lifts, shift your weight forward. If you want the front to go light, then shift your weight back. It's definitely a balancing game. But with the seat slammed, it should see you to the top of the most technical of climbs. On this section of trail, it's already pretty steep, so you're probably gonna be in boost mode in quite an easy gear. So the big thing about the power wheelie is looking to where you're gonna apply the actual power down to lift the front wheel. So I can see on both sides, there's a potential pedal strike. So I'm gonna think about this one early. So as soon as that front wheel hits that uphill, I'm gonna get on that power, drive the front wheel up nice and high by pulling up on the handlebars, whilst maintaining your cadence. Maintaining the cadence and keeping that drive to the back wheel, super important to keep the front wheel high. Then I'm looking at a focus point where I'm gonna drop my front wheel. And I've also scanned the area for potential bits where the wheels are gonna catch and pull that front wheel down. So just make sure you've got a nice line between the two obstacles. That's gonna provide a nice smooth direct drive to keep that power wheelie going. One big mistake is to be in too easy gear for the power wheelie. You need to be in a gear that will lift the front wheel easy, but not spin out. On the other hand, not stall it and not lift at all. It's a fine balance of what speed your approach is. You might find the power wheelie easier to do in a higher power mode, such as boost mode. It's all about getting your weight over the back of the bike whilst pushing hard through the pedals. Try and read the terrain and react to it with your body's movement all the way throughout the power wheelie. Now this is a really cool technique. It's all about storing the power in the bike system by means of using the brakes. Yeah, you're gonna use your brakes to climb something. So to use the clutch technique on this part of trail, it's quite a nice flowing part of trail, so you're coming up with good speed into this corner. So around here, you just need to be scrubbing that speed off, having a look at your line as well. Think about engaging boost mode, because this move works definitely better in boost or turbo mode. So engage that, have a look at what gear you're gonna need to uh, get over this section as well. And think about the line that you're gonna take into that section as well. Here you just scrub the back brake. So you're holding the back brake 
while still maintaining good cadence and good powerful strokes into the bike. You're gonna feel the bike wants to go forward, but you've got to hold it back on the brake. Once you're here, you need to analyze your line. You're gonna take up the rock slab and the grip that's gonna be available as well. Once you've got that sorted, it's time to let that back, back brake go. Use that surge of power just to climb straight up here and clear the section of the trail super easy. Now the clutch technique really is worth learning. It's gonna stop all those moments, particularly on like steep uphill switchbacks where you come into it, you load the back wheel up and it starts to push the front wheel out. Sure, we've all been there where the front wheel's skidding along, kind of understeering out of the corner. What it does is just hold that by a power back, which is regulating the back brake and letting that power in nice and slowly. It's also a really good way of increasing grip. Sometimes you get a bit of wheel spin, you can hold it back. As soon as you feel the traction breaking from the back wheel, drag the back brake, just hold it back a little bit, regain grip, and then let it go slowly again, just to try and regain that grip to drive you up those hard to get up obstacles. So there you go, I really hope you've enjoyed today's video all about those tips and tricks I've learned over the years of e-biking. Let us know in the comments box below which one of those tips you think is gonna help you out on the trails. If you wanna stick around and check out another video here on EMBN and see what I got up to in my younger years, check out Meet the Presenter. That video is from the early days of when I first picked up a bike. Check that one out. Because thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to EMBM by clicking the globe in the middle of the screen. And whilst you're there, hit that notification bell to receive a notification every time we upload here on EMBM to make sure you're not missing out on any content. Cheers, guys.